They say there is never been a better time to get an iPhone. But I was a former Android user since 2011. And before that time, I was using Symbian phones. And I was never Apple person. But this is 2017. And I should have at least give it a shot. And here is my review of iPhone 6 from a former Android user. The first thing I want to say is the things that kept me away from iPhones is the freedom of its users. I, I thought there is a lot of restrictions like you have no home page, you cannot set widget to home page, all you have is a app drawer. There was a few bit of restrictions and I thought that could be a deal breaker for me because I like the freedom of Android OS. But after using Android for years, I found that I rarely change my wallpaper, I rarely change or add new widget to my home screen. All I do is unlock my phone and go to the app I want to use. Like I unlock the phone and go to the Facebook app if I want to use the Facebook app or Instagram or YouTube. You get the point. So at this point I thought iPhone can handle that too. I will tell you my full experience of using the iPhone 6 for 6 months. But first of all let's talk a little bit about the design and build quality. And right off the bat I can tell you the iPhone has the best build quality and design period. And from the first iPhone to the iPhone 7 Plus the most attractive design was for me the iPhone 5S. That was the best design that Apple ever made. The design of the iPhone 6 is also very good. The new iPhone 7 glass back that is also very good. And as soon as you just touch the phone or hold in your palm, you will feel that richness and classy vibe that iPhone gives you. It feels really really good. Today I have the iPhone 6 and the design is good. Full aluminum body with nice display up front but I gotta tell you that this phone is slippery AF otherwise the buttons and everything is top notch the build quality and the design is fabulous and that's one thing Apple doing right from the very beginning of their company they're keeping the design minimalistic and classy so after the design if you want to talk the hardware you can find all the hardware specs online so I'm not gonna tell anything about the hardware all I can say is this phone is freaking smooth. The jump between apps, multitasking and everything feels awesome. It handles everything you need. Now let's dive into the iOS. And the first thing I want to tell is it's very clean, it's very straightforward and it's very easy to use. Unlocking the device gets you the app drawer and everything you can find here. Pulling down the app drawer gets you the Siri suggestions and search bar where you can search any app contacts or you can search things online. And every built-in app of iPhone is very clean like compass, calculator, weather app, watch and the clock icon itself a clock and the calendar icon shows the date and day. You have everything you need like good free games and apps. The settings of this phone is very clean and easy to use. So till now my response to the iPhone was pretty positive but there are a few things I want to mention that I think I don't like about the iPhone. First of all the notification drop down. Yes it's clean and it's um, good looking but it's a little bit crowded in my opinion and unlike Android you have all your access in the action center which is at the bottom and these are good these are no mean any bad things but there is few things i didn't like if you are on the home page or in facebook app it works pretty well no problem but if you are typing somewhere and your keyboard is on getting the action center is pretty tough in my experience i don't know why if i if i, I don't know if i'm doing it wrong or not but getting the action center is pretty tough over here. Also, if you are watching any YouTube videos in full screen mode, getting the action center is hard. But definitely these minor things cannot be a deal breaker. Another little thing I didn't like about this iPhone is its landscape and portrait orientation. 
you can lock on and off portrait orientation you cannot lock the display in landscape mode and that's really a bummer for me so that is a little minor thing i didn't like about this iphone so there is a lot of iphone review android versus iphone review android os versus ios review my verdict of iphone is it's slick it's very beautiful it's very easy to use the hardware that cramped into this shiny beautiful device is all top notch and solid like the earpiece and microphones are solid so the voice calls or the hearing earpiece is very clear sounding and very bold sounding which is really good and everything in this device inside out is top notch the camera of this phone is only 8 megapixel but the picture it takes is very good it takes accurate color with adequate sharpness so a question rises am i sticking to the iphone or am i going back to the android answering this question would be a little bit tough for me because this was my primary device for six months and i had an android device besides me though i just um used the android device in home for doing some few things that ios legitimately can do but i wasn't feeling any lacking using this phone and i was feeling fulfilled so that is something to note about again i said i have been using android for six years and that's a lot of time and the question that rises is am i going back to the android or sticking to the iphone my answer would be i am sticking to the iphone the saying is right there is never been a better time to get an iphone 